The woman woke up with a start, her head throbbing and her vision blurred. As she struggled to sit up in bed, she realized she had no memory of how she got there. Panic began to set in as she surveyed her surroundings, an isolated cabin in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by dense woods. The silence in the cabin was oppressive, broken only by the sound of her own breath. She cautiously stepped out of the bedroom and into the main living area, afraid of what she might find. The rooms were dark and empty, but there was a lingering sense of something being amiss. As she explored further, she noticed strange clues scattered throughout the cabin. A notebook with cryptic symbols, a faded photograph of herself with three unknown individuals, and a locked drawer that held no clue as to what it might contain. Every step she took in the cabin seemed to uncover more questions than answers. Her heart raced when she heard the sound of footsteps approaching from outside. She quickly extinguished any light and hid behind a worn-out armchair, her mind racing with fear. The footsteps grew louder, until finally, a figure entered the cabin. A flicker of recognition passed through her mind as she caught sight of the intruder. It was one of the individuals in the photograph, a tall, menacing figure with a scarred face. The woman's heart raced as she realized she was not alone. She had to find a way to escape before it was too late. As the intruder moved through the cabin, she silently and carefully maneuvered herself towards the locked drawer. She had to know what was inside. Perhaps it held a clue to why she found herself in this predicament. With trembling hands, she picked the lock and opened the drawer. Inside, she found a file with her own name on it, along with a series of documents detailing a sinister plot. The woman's hands shook as she read the documents, her memories returning piece by piece. She had once been a pawn in a twisted game, a game that involved manipulation, deceit, and unspeakable acts. And now, it seemed, she had been dragged back into it. Just as she realized the horrifying truth, the cabin door creaked open again. This time, it was another person from the photograph, a woman with cold, calculating eyes. The woman could see there was no escape now. She was trapped in a nightmare of her own making. Time seemed to slow down as the two figures cornered her, a cruel smile playing on their lips. The woman knew she had to fight back, but the memories of her dark past seemed to hold her back. As they closed in on her, she made one last desperate attempt to piece together her scattered memories, hoping against hope that it would give her a way out. But as the truth engulfed her, she realized with a sinking feeling that there was no escape. The twisted game she had once tried to forget had resurfaced, more twisted and nightmarish than ever. And it seemed she was fated to play her part until its bloody end.